Hi, it's Maggie Davis, aka Mini Minx, on YouTube and The Captain. Um, just wanted to share with you this handmade vintage junk journal with a beaded charm dangle. Um, it could be a planner, um, a memory book, um, it's a gift or a gift, unique keepsake, um, or a traveller's notebook. I'm going to call it memories, we're having the word memories on there. Um, the size of it is 8 inches, roughly about 8 inches by 5 inches, and that's roughly 20 centimetres by 13. Um, I have done a zigzag stitch on the front cover around it, and then on the back I've did a different type stitch there, going round down there and across the bottom. I've put in eyelets front and back. You get this little handmade beaded charm on there. Um, it's been clipped on my parrot clasp. If you didn't like the baker's twine that I've used for a simple tie closure, it's easy just to take them out and replace it. So I've got quite a few wee beads, etc. and things here. There's, there's one signature and I've got those little beads that are coming down from it. Um, so we'll get on and show it. Eh? I've not counted the pages because most of it is coffee stain papers and there's quite a bit of stitching here and there and whatnot. So I've made this into a little pocket at the bottom and you've got coffee stained and I've stamped here and there a sewing theme is what's running through this. So here it's like sewing stitch being stamped by a needle um, on it. And there's a little bit of ephemera. You've got a, a tag here that's been stamped with a, an, an, a pin there and it's blank on the back but it's like lined on the front. And a little handmade tag. And this one that you could glue somewhere in the journal. Um, the papers, coffee stain paper on the opposite page. And the word says family on it there, up the top. And a little bit of stitching that I'll show you on the other side. Um, and I've stamped a ball of wool with, um, with a crochet needle there. So my coffee stain papers are done in the oven. Um, I mix up some coffee with hot water. And I use a brush to um, brush over each of the pages. And then I stick five or six A4 sheets in my in a tray in the oven once your oven's hot. And just keep a close eye on them because if you leave them for too long, they can burn. But I like this feel and look. It's got that feel of it and it's crunchy. It looks old and distressed sort of look um, and makes it look vintagey. Um, it's been done on purpose, white, white copier paper and then turned into that. So we've got this little, like a film, a film um, frame there, and I've stamped on some sewing things, needles, buttons, and little pins um, up the top there. And I made a little side pocket, um, and it's just a little front and back like that, that you could put a picture or journaling in there, but also you can journal behind here on the coffee stain paper. And I've got a little handmade envelope um, I think the edges with Tim Holtz, the stress think, my favourite. And there's nothing in it, but you could put something in there. So I just thought it went with the theme. And then we've got this side, just a page from my book. And I've stitched up the top. Well, you'll see at that side, it's like cat's ears upside down. Love that. Love that stitch. And I've made a little pocket here and a little stitching at the side. Um, if there's any words, when I take items from a book and I like them to look old as well on it. If there's any words that are inappropriate, please just tip it over, use a bit of washi tape, whatever, and scribble it out. Okay, little homemade tags. This one says home sweet home, blank on the back, I've just stapled on the top. This one's a cute little envelope. Um, I, I think the edges, and it's, it's just got that inside that you could write something on it, but it's actually a little a little print out and it's an envelope. I'll just show you like that. It's super cute. Um, and it goes with, it's vintagey paper on it. So this side, we've got a little bead on a paper clip up there. I hope you can see it. I'm not going to take it off. And I've got one tag and then a little tag here. So this tag says dream. And that comes off and we've got vintagey paper underneath. And you've got a little tag. These tag... These tags with the vintage thing came from Genevieve Designs. Worth checking out. 
and then we've got this on that side a large vintage clock and i've just put in it made it in a tuck spot and we've got this thick card on there and i've stitched the edging with this quite a nice feel actually on that and um, with the threads don't know what the stitch is i think it's the triple stitch on one of my on my machine um this one's a bit stamping here and there as i say it's a sewing theme and some stitch in there and buttons stamped onto that coffee or paper and then i've put this one so we've got this here and we've got some stitching on the corner and what i've done is i've just added a bit of this it's an it's a little pin a little paper clip with a bead on a couple of beads on it and i've coffee stained that it's got stamping on it and i've just used it to um i've used it on this where am i is it this side on there? I've just clipped it to the side here on the page just to just to give it a bit, a bit of interest. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll just stick it back on. So I've had it on like that. Um, but you could move that around elsewhere. It's really up to yourself. I've got a bit of lined paper here and a little bit of stitching. Then I've done some stamping of scissors down there. And then a little envelope pocket that I've stamped a pin on. And just a little bit of lined paper inside. But you could add your journaling or something to that. Um, a little, I've stamped a little flower there that you could colour in. And then we've got another paper clip with beads on it. And I'll just sweep it over to that side. Hope you can see it. And then we've got this clock that could be put elsewhere in a tag. I'm not going to take them off because it just takes too long on photocopier paper. And then this side we've got this pretty lady and we've got a little bit of writing paper and then we've got copier paper there and I've stamped crochet, a crochet needle with wool. And I thought she's got a little bit stitching on the top up there. I just thought that looked quite cute. So it's vintage all dolled up and ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> and this one, what I've done is that's a Genevieve tag there. I've um, inked the edges and I've done it as a drop down. I've just used washi tape so you could put something underneath it on that one. And then I've stamped home, home sweet home. I've just stamped it three, three times on the top, although I've done it to make it look like it's been done a long time ago. I've um, got another little envelope here and we've got, I'm not going to take the envelope off. But I've got another paper clip here with some beads on it. Um, my favourite is a pearl. But, and some stitching down the side and some stamping. But we've got this little totsy wotsy super cute file of acts. And I've just put a little bit off, like just ink that to put it in that you could write something in it. But I just thought, how sweet is that? Eh? It's like totty. A little pa file paper file there but it's super cute um, and I'll just stick it on like that, I'll put it that way so you can see it and then I've made a little um, notebook here with the memories so it's the same picture on the front just a lot smaller and I've put some paper, paper inside 